Listen up, everyone. Do you realize who's before you? This is the exalted Adjutant General. Adjutant what now? Whoops, <laughs> I got carried away there. Uh, she doesn't have a royal pillbox or a cherry blossom tattoo to define her authority. My bad. Well then, Mr. Natsuki, please continue. Though it seems she's not this exalted adjutant general you think she is. Ahem. <clears throat> That's right. She's no mere adjutant. She's our next ruler. Ruler? I remember hearing about this at the royal capital. There's supposedly been some rumblings surrounding the royal castle's decision to crown the next ruler. Yeah, that! This beautiful young lady is participating in that very same royal selection to become the next ruler. The Great Miss Amelia! Yeah! Uh, hey, Subaru! What? It's not something to keep hidden. You should tell it to the world. This is a good opportunity for us. But I didn't help these people as some sort of publicity stunt. Your humility is one of your greatest virtues, Melee. But you really should advertise your position more. Don't you agree, Rem? Yes. How perceptive of you, Subaru. Rem is quite impressed. You too, Rem? Anyway, it's the great Amelia who saved you all. Don't forget to tell your friends, family, and enemies all about her! Subaru, you're blowing this out of purport- ah! Melee, what's wrong? Sorry about that. A bug just flew into my hood is all. I see, I see. Even bugs can't resist your charm and fly right toward you. Your beauty is a deadly sin, Melee. I'm sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Hey, could that be... Yeah, what with her silver hair and purple eyes and those pointy ears. A silver-haired half-elf. Huh? Why'd it get so serious all of a sudden? <laughs> you alright, Leah? Yes, I'm fine. I expected as much. Huh? What's going on here? I can't believe we were saved by that half-devil girl. And she's a candidate for the throne? Hey, watch your tongue. They stuck their necks out for us. You can't deny that, no matter who they are. You say that, but doesn't that make you feel a bit conflicted? To be honest, I'm torn. Not to mention the fact that that half-devil girl is a royal candidate. <laughs> Mr. Natsuki? Everyone? Thank you for everything. You're leaving already? Yes, thanks to you, I've got all my cargo back. I just need to catch up on lost time and regain my profit in Gusteco. I'm sorry, I would love to buy you a drink to repay you for your help. But we are in a bit of a hurry. Think nothing of it. If you could just remember to tell everyone you meet about Melee, that'd be more than enough. Of course, you can count on me. Everyone may have gotten a bit nervous back there, but I'm rooting for you, Miss Amelia. It makes me so happy to hear you say that. Do be careful out there, Otto. Of course. I want you to know that they aren't bad people. I know they'll remember this day. I give you my word on that. Though it may not be worth much. No, it does put my mind at ease. Thank you. <laughs> well said, Otto. You sure have grown. How do you know about my life? I'm sorry, everyone. Oh, you're still around? I thought you had to take off, too. I do, but I can't shake this awful feeling about what happened earlier. Hey, don't worry about it. He's right. I'm okay, so please, don't worry yourself over it. Besides, we just so happen to pass by and help. There's no need to feel like you owe us anything. Things may have gotten a little weird because of Subaru's ramblings. 
But I already knew my candidacy to the throne would be no easy task. Please don't beat yourself up. In fact, I'm grateful for having met someone like you. Grateful? But you were the one who saved me. I should be grateful to you. <laughs> Isn't it kind of funny how that worked out? She's the one who's thankful for having met you. You want to show her your appreciation, but she shows you hers instead. Kind of throws you off, doesn't it? But that's Melee for ya. Besides, I want to thank you too. I feel like everything we did was worth it for having met you in the end. You at least support Melee becoming the next ruler, right? Of course. You have my full support. And I believe my caravan will offer theirs as well. Please come visit us sometime. We'll introduce you to our leader then. All right? Yes, let us be off, Subaru. We finally made it to the capital after all that, but... There are so many people. <laughs> you guys are awesome! I can't thank you enough for defeating those Dusk Bandits. Thank you so much for avenging my husband. Uh, oh, no. We just happened to be passing by. I'm glad we managed to bring you some peace of mind, and... Mili looks like she's lost for words. Everyone seems to have heard of our accomplishment already. Did one of the traitors we helped tell them the news? Certainly goes to show how infamous those bandits are, I guess. I didn't think it'd be such a big deal. Though, I didn't really help out much myself. Thank you so much. Everyone is much more at ease now. Uh, huh? Oh, it was nothing. Um, judging by your outfit, are you a nun? Oh, um, pardon me for being so rude. After hearing of your great deed, I wanted to personally give you a word of thanks. It saddens me deeply whenever I hear of someone having been harmed by the Dusk Bandits. But the citizens have nothing to fear any longer. I cannot thank you enough for what you have done. Yeah, she's right. It's true. Miss Amelia, thank you so very much. Huh? Oh, um... I only did what anyone else would do. Welp, you heard her, Melee. This is another chance to sell yourself up. Give them your biggest smile and shout out, Victory! V victory uh, Subaru, you jerk! This isn't the time for that. Anyway, listen up, everyone! Please keep Melee... No. Miss Emilia in mind, and show her your support in the upcoming selection! Now then, Miss Emilia, Subaru, Rem will prepare your lodging arrangements. Oh, right. Thanks, Rem. Remember who's staying here, so make sure to get an in fit for a king. Oh, stop that! Rem, pay no mind to Subaru. Do you know the inn Roswell usually stays at? That will do just fine. I apologize, Subaru. I did want to do as you asked of me, but... Don't give me those puppy dog eyes! Besides, the inn Roswell stays at is pretty pricey too, isn't it? I'll walk around the royal capital with Neely in the meantime. There's someone I'd like to pay a visit to anyway. Alright then. Miss Amelia, please take care of Subaru. Yes, leave him to me. I won't take my eyes off him. Shouldn't it be the other way around? Looking for the shopping district? It's straight ahead. There's a stall here with a rather intimidating shopkeeper, but he's got some good stuff for some... Write it down. Whoa! This place brings back memories. Yeah, this is definitely the royal capital. So, Melee, is there anywhere you want to go? 
It's been a while since you've been back here. I suppose it has. But it's actually only been about two months since we met. There's no need to get so excited. Aw, don't be like that, Melee. The time we've spent together has really flown by. I just want to cherish every moment of our return. So let's have some fun with it. Yes, yes. Though I don't need to go anywhere in particular. What about you, Subaru? Why, yes. There is somewhere I'd like to go. Where is it? It's a place where I can fulfill a promise made between men. If you don't mind, want to tag along? Yes, that's fine. Let's go together, then. Okay. Look out, scary-faced shopkeeper. We're on our way! This way, Melee. Let's go to the shopping district. Okay, okay. There's no need to rush. Here, hold on to my hand. If you're looking for Kataman's shop, it's that way. Hey, Melee. I'm really having some mixed feelings about all this, so why don't we stop this thing? Absolutely not. Knowing you, Subaru, you'll just go off on your own and do something weird if I let go of you. I won't allow you to walk around by yourself while we're in the royal capital, so I absolutely refuse to let go of your hand. Understand? If I'm being honest, I feel more like a child when you hold my hand like this. Really now? You couldn't stop talking about how much you wanted to hold hands when we went on our date in the village. Well, I was way more prepared for it back then. I'm not really feeling it right now. Besides, my hands are getting really sweaty. I hate to say this to the heroes who defeated the Dusk Bandits, but could you stop being so dang lovey-dovey in front of my shop? I don't want to deter any potential customers from stopping by. Aw, oh, come on. Don't shrug us off like that. I was pumped up to fulfill my end of the bargain, but it's like you've completely forgotten. You're the first guy I talk to in this fantasy world, so I'm here to return the favor. I really don't know what you're going on about. We only talked for a hot minute about a month back, right? I kind of remember, but... Subaru, don't be unreasonable. Sir, please don't pay him any mind. I followed along because you wanted to say hi to someone who took care of you. I never would have guessed it was a one-sided promise on your end. I can't believe you. You can't make light of a pact made between men, Melee. You're still asking for too much. Don't you have any idea how many people these shopkeepers have to keep- Ow, ow, ow! Sorry, I'm sorry! Please don't pull on my ear! Don't be rude! Yes, ma'am! Oh, right. That pathetic display of yours just reminded me. You're that kid who didn't have a single coin on him. That ingrate who left without buying anything. Setting aside what triggered your memory, I said I came back here to repay you! Calm down. Man, I think you were with the group who fought off those bandits. Here, that appa I promised you. How many are you gonna buy? They're usually two bronze coins, but being the hero and all, I can give you a little discount. Go big or go home, so I'll take ten. Consider it interest and waiting so long to pay you back. Don't worry about the discount either. Uh, Melee? Why are you taking out your wallet? You can't pay him without money, right? That's not what I mean! Hey, now, are you really gonna make the lady pay for you? Kinda makes you look like a deadbeat, don't you think? Oh, come on! Did you not just hear me trying to pay for it myself? Maybe if you cleaned your ears out every once in a... This guy's up to something. Where I come from, cops would be all over you, even on Halloween! That's a bit much, don't you think? I have feelings too, you know. Hmm? Halloween? Al? What are you doing playing around here? You have some nerve leaving me unattended. 
Oh, my bad, princess. I just happened upon something interesting and couldn't help myself. Fool. You think that qualifies as an excuse? Do not forget your position as my personal jester. Know that if you do, your head will be separated from the rest of your body. Yeah, yeah. These two are something else, I gotta say. <laughs> Subaru, let's go. We have business to attend to. Huh? Hold on! I'm still in the middle of shopping. You there, commoner. What is that you hold in your hand? Huh? Are you talking to me? Who else is there? Answer me. So, Hottie. It's just an Appa, in all its unsold leftover glory. Now shut it, will ya? This is an Appa? What foolishness. Huh? An Appa is a white fruit. It is not red like this one. Um, Princess? Don't tell me. White? I mean, it is if you peel it. Oof. Wait, have you never seen an unpeeled apple before? How sheltered are you? Hmm. It is true that I have never seen one off the dining table. Shopkeeper, are you certain this is an apple? Yeah, I'm sure. Hey, give me a sec. I'll prove it to you. See? It's white on the inside. Convinced now? Not quite. Give it to me. I will check how it tastes. You think I'll just let you taste it for free? That's pretty brazen of you. Al, pay the man. Alrighty then. Here you go. Thanks for the purchase. But I'm gonna have to ask you to leave once you're done. I've got a business to run here. Yes, this is indeed an Appa. Shopkeeper, commoner, it seems you have both eluded death for the time being. What exactly were you gonna do to us if we were lying? Come on, Subaru. Can we go already, please? Wait, hang on, Melee! You're gonna stretch out my sleeve! What? What's wrong? You've been acting weird. Quite like this. Shopkeeper, these are all Appas that are on display, correct? Oh, well, yeah. I shall purchase them. I will take everything you have. Now hold on just a minute. I was here first. These Appas are a testament of the promise between him and me. I don't know about all that, but it's true that he was here first. You'll have to wait your turn. You misunderstand me. What now? I told you I will take everything. Your appas, your wares, and everything else you sell. I will purchase it all. But all of it? That is correct. I will be taking every single one of your wares. Al, his payment. Here you go. Thank you kindly. Everything's sold out for the day. Hey! Sorry, bud. I'm closed for the day. Come by some other time for those apples. Sorry to say, but I never really promised you anything. I'm moved by your sense of duty, but I do run a business at the end of the day. It only makes sense for me to prioritize other customers with deeper pockets. It's nothing personal. You two-timer! This shopkeeper merely understands the ways of the world. These apples all belong to me now. Damn it! After I came all this way to buy some, too. This little rat knows not its place. Trying to steal my apples from me. Weren't you the one who took them from me? I'm the victim here! What are you talking about? I have simply offered a payment to the shopkeeper to receive the requested products he sells. 
Whoever he decides to sell it all to is entirely up to him. Why, you? Buying your way in the world, huh? I never expected capitalism to rear its ugly head here. Hey, bro, there's no hard feelings here. The princess just doesn't budge once she sets her mind on something. Just think of it as a dog nipping at your ankles and let it go. Fool. No dog exists that is as beautiful as me. Don't get all carried away just because you're somewhat attractive. I've got someone just as beautiful right here, too. Hey, Subaru. Oh, yeah. Where should I have all your goods sent to, my lady? I will send a dragon carriage to pick them up at a later time. You may pack them upon its arrival. You got it. But can I get your name and residence? Just in case. I am Priscilla Bariel. You can call me Al, by the way. We live in that flashy mansion right past the plaza. You can't miss it once you're over there. I don't care about all that. And I still don't like that you took all his stock, either. Oh, don't say that. I have a feeling we'll be seeing a lot more of each other from now on. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Al, it is time to leave. Stop wasting such precious time dealing with that commoner. Yeah, yeah. See you around, bro. I sure wasn't expecting that. Now I gotta put up a sign saying I'm all sold out. I'm really disappointed in you. You just sold your soul to that she-devil. The only thing I sold is my shop's goods. And did I hear you start calling her my lady for a second there? Unless I misheard you, you were talking way more formally just now. It's common practice for a businessman to show his more high-profile clients some due respect. I'd be calling you a lord too if you bought out my whole shop like that. Oh, I see how it is. Sorry about that, Mealy. Since I can't buy any apples, let's just keep walking around. Yes. Priscilla and Al, huh? Just who the heck are they? Mm. Well, the royal capital's a big place, so I doubt we'll ever see them again. Hey, Mealy! Want to check out the plaza? Hmm. All right. Is something going on there? Let's go, Subaru. Crusher's Manor is this way. Crusher person's myth. place is huge, even by royal capital standards. It certainly shows how important the person living here is. Now then. This way, Miss Amelia. Miss Amelia, Subaru, Miss Cruchet is awaiting us. I'm sorry we're so late. Yeah, something came up on the way over. Do you know why we're here, Rem? Yes, of course. This concerns you, after all. Huh? Me? Welcome, Amelia. It must have been quite the trip for you. Good day to you, Crochet. And you as well, Ferris. Good day to you too, Miss Amelia. Though it is rather late for it to still be considered day. D sorry Something distracted us along the way here. No, it's quite alright. We were busy with our own affairs as well. Think nothing of it. So, this is Crochet. And this cute girl with cat ears. What a typical fantasy trope! Hey, I know you can't help but stare at something so magnificent, but it's not polite. Besides, there's someone else me you should be focusing on instead of Fairy, isn't there? I won't deny Crochet's beauty. It's quite bewitching, if I'm being honest. But looking at everything around me... <laughs> yeah. 
This really is a fantasy world. The beautiful girl ratio is unreal. Oh, but Melee will always be my number one, so don't you worry. What are you going on about now? Hmm. Bold of Mew to choose someone other than Miss Cruchet. <clears throat> well, Miss Amelia, I believe you're here to tell us something, right? That is what the letter from the Margrave said, at least. I can only imagine what such a request would be, so please state your business with my camp, Amelia. All right. But first... Rem? Please look after Subaru. Yes, Miss Amelia. Let us wait outside, Subaru. What? I'm being left out again? I don't... Wait, 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 Rem! Oh, wow, you're strong! I can't even put up a fight! Man, you're way stronger than you look. I am a demon, after all. I apologize for treating you so roughly, Subaru. <sighs> Don't worry about it. It just sucks to be excluded this time, too. Another discussion where I'm not needed. Please do not think ill of Miss Amelia. She's only doing this for your sake. For my sake? <laughs> I would have been much happier not being kicked out like that. <laughs> oh, sorry for being a negative, Nancy. And now that I think about it, I'm sorry for making you handle everything, like driving us here and reserving an inn. Thanks for all your hard work, Rem. Oh no, I have only done what is expected of me. Uh, besides, it becomes no trouble at all when I think about you. You give Rem so much strength, Subaru. You empower Rem in every way possible. How can I even take credit for that when I haven't actually done anything? But you really do make me happy. Your words energize me so much. Is that right? Well, I don't think I deserve it. But I'm glad to hear it nonetheless. Yes! You can come back in now. Is your secret meeting over, Melee? Oh, Subaru. Be a good boy and don't sulk. I'm not a good boy. I'll sulk pretty hard if you keep me out of the loop. Subaru Natsuki, was it? Do not be so hard on her. It is difficult to speak of such matters so openly when the person it regards is near. Person it regards? However, I will be appointing you with a different sort of task, Subaru. You are to focus on receiving your treatment. Your body is in such a state thanks to your honorable efforts. I have a duty to respond to your distinguished service in kind. That is why I have made arrangements with the greatest healer in the kingdom to care for you. Oh, that! So Cruchet is this super talented healing mage I heard about? Wrong! Miss Cruchet may be the most admirable person in the whole world, but the kingdom's best healer is someone else entirely. Well then who is it? Come on, tell me already. Are they hiding around here somewhere? Subawu, you're doing this on purpose, aren't you? Hmm? Right in front of you! Me! Fairy is Miss Cruchet's knight and the kingdom's number one healer! Ferris is the number one healer in the kingdom? Yes, it is true. And a highly renowned healer at that. Cute and incredibly skilled. Impressive, right? My cute looks are just in the other part of my charm. So then, nice to officially meet you, Subaru. It, yeah. 
nice to meet you too? Rem, please take care of Subaru. Yes, Miss Amelia. Hmm? If Rem's staying with me, what are you gonna do, Melee? I have my own matters to tend to. You better not run away, Subaru. I'm not a kid anymore. I'm not gonna run away just because I'm scared of doctors. You're such a worrywart. No, no, no! Wait, Ferris! Calm down a minute and let's talk this over! Fairy is calm! You're the one who's freaking out, Subaru. What a baby. I am so not a baby! This is ten times worse than I thought! My stomach feels so uncomfortable. It's like my insides are getting all blended. All this whining, the fairy's going pretty easy on you, Mino. Be a man and take it! Though, I guess it would hurt. I mean, your gate is all mucked up. I'm surprised you're even alive! It's that bad? Yep, yep. That's why my treatment might feel a bit rough. But, Mew tried, I guess. We can call it quits for today, since I don't want Mew puking all over the place. Yeah, I'd really appreciate that. Man, that was awful. Huh? Something's happening in the garden. It sounds like swords are clashing. A great step in. Your skills have improved. It's all thanks to your training. But I still have much to learn! Then I guess we should hasten things up a bit. Amazing. How are they even pulling all that off? They're both insanely skilled. Even an amateur like me can tell how impressive they are. The Subaru? Is something wrong? Oh, um, sorry. I was just entranced by their incredible sparring. Crochet is pretty amazing on her own, but her opponent... That must be Master Wilhelm. Wilhelm? Is he well known around here? Yes, he's quite a renowned figure. Thought so. Makes sense for someone who looks as strong as he does. Subaru, are you really going there again? I mean, I couldn't buy any apples last time. I can't just leave it at that. back. Sorry about yesterday. I was seriously disappointed in you. You'd better have some apples today. Of course. So, how many do you want? I'll take ten. And can I get a freebie? A discount would be great, too. All right, all right. What with that whole incident from yesterday and you being the great hero who defeated the Dusk Bandits, I'll give you half off this time. Seriously? Oh man, I'm glad I asked! Oh, Subaru, don't get so carried away. Are you sure about this? Well, I do owe him for yesterday. But, can I ask for a favor in return? A favor? There's someone who wanted to talk to you. Sorry for calling you out here. 
I didn't think I'd ever see you lot again. I'd say the same to you. I was worried about what happened after the attack at the loot house. Don't go worrying about me. Either way, I'm glad we all got out safe and sound. I've been hearing a lot about what you've done lately. I didn't think you were the ones who defeated the Dusk Bandits. Everyone says that, but were those bandits really all that bad? It didn't feel that way to me. Their rise to infamy is only recent, but the gratitude the people have been showing you should speak volumes. Though it's more likely that you aren't the one getting all the attention. But that young lady friend of yours... Me? All right. And things are going just as planned. So long as we get more people like Otto to show their support for Melee, regardless of her background, we'll be able to compete in the Royal Selection. Royal Selection? Hmm. I see. That's quite a difficult path you're treading. I know. But it's the path I've chosen to take. My role is to support her through it all. But besides that, why'd you want to talk to us? You even made the effort to relay your message to the Appa seller. My business with you only concerns one thing. Felt. She hasn't been back since the attack. Do you happen to know anything about her whereabouts? Felt hasn't come back yet? Sorry, I don't know anything about that. What about you, Melee? You know, the blonde girl who was with us at the loot house. The one who stole your insignia. Yes, I remember. Reinhard took her with him. He did? But why? Reinhard the Sword Saint, huh? Of all the things that could have happened. Did that help? It did, thanks. Now I know what I need to do. You should be careful, too. How so? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just warning you that the Royal Capital can be a pretty dangerous place, too. So, now what? The whole point of coming here was to find out why the Royal Selection was postponed, but... Oh, you're right, Subaru. We haven't had the chance to conduct a thorough investigation. No, that's not it. Subaru, investigating the postponement isn't even your main priority. You need to receive treatment. So go back to the inn and get some rest. I can't do that. You saw that brooding look on old man Rom's face too, right? He knows what sort of trouble he'll get into by himself. I at least want to talk to Reinhardt. And for my own sake, I want to know if Felt is safe. Hmm... You do have a point. I can't say that I didn't play some part in how that old man and the girl got separated in the first place. More like you were a victim, having gotten your insignia stolen amidst everything going on. Anyway, I want to go and see Reinhardt. But what do you think we should do, Melee? I think checking the guard station would be our best option. We should be able to contact him from there. Alright, then let's head there first. Jeez, once you get riled up, you really don't listen to anyone around you. The guard station should be just past the shopping district. Oh, I didn't expect to see you here. You're... Good day to you, Miss Amelia. I hope you've been well. Yes, thank you. Not much has changed recently. I'm glad you also seem to be doing well, Julius. I'm honored you remember me. Your beauty seems to shine even brighter with each passing day, Miss Amelia. What a coincidence meeting a Knight of the Royal Guard in a place like this. Stopping by here is part of my patrolling duties. Things are rather tense at the Royal Castle right now, so I was worried it might affect the mood of the town. But I suppose it's good to pay the townspeople a visit every now and again. After all, 
It allows me to come across such beautiful flowers across my path. Huh? What do you think you're doing? That's quite the greeting. I am merely greeting a lady as any knight should. As a knight should? You think you can just take my Melee's hand and... Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Melee, you're gonna pull my ear right off my head? Don't say such silly things, Subaru. I'm sorry, Julius. He can be such a child sometimes. You're one to talk, Melee. You need not apologize, Miss Amelia. But you there. I do not agree with your tactic of hiding behind your master and having her grovel on your behalf. Hit me where it hurts, why don't ya? Sorry. You seem to be struggling with your words quite a bit, but I accept your apology. I am Julius Eucleus, a Knight of the Royal Guard. I'm Subaru Natsuki. I'm someone important enough to Melee that we walked around the royal capital holding hands. Yes, so you wouldn't wander off on your own. In any case, could we trouble you for some help? I have an important matter to take care of and wish to communicate with someone at the royal castle. Appreciate it if you could help. Understood. Please allow me to show you inside. Would you like to come along as well? Yes, of course! I can't leave you alone with Melee! Ow, ow, ow! Seriously, Melee! My ear's gonna rip right off! Jeez. <sighs> You're as stubborn as a mule. Ugh. That's a phrase I haven't heard in a long time. laughing so much! Whoops! <laughs> Sorry! But Subaru, you've got a lot of guts standing up to Julius like that! He was so unlikable! We didn't even get to talk to Reinhardt! All we managed to do was meet that annoying knight! You think Julius is just some annoying knight? You're funny, Subaru! I'm being serious here! I'm glad you invited us to dinner, Crochet. But I have a feeling you didn't just want to have a fancy meal together, did you? Of course not. I was hoping we could exchange information on the reasoning behind the Royal Selection's postponement. However, you seem to have had something more important to deal with as of late. We didn't really get to do much investigating with all the interruptions we had to deal with today. Sorry to waste your precious time like that, Melee. Let's try again tomorrow. This has nothing to do with you in the first place, Subaru. Your main priority is to heal your body. So please, get some rest. <clears throat> but I... Yep, yep. You should listen to Miss Amelia. You aren't taking the situation you're in seriously, Subaru. I don't want to spook Mew, but your symptoms are pretty serious. Why don't you look after yourself more, and get some rest like Miss Amelia told me to? I understand your sentiments, but this is just the type of person Subaru is. Well, well, even little Ram is coddling up to him. It seems like Mew won't learn your lesson unless Mew get hurt really, really badly. That's awfully ominous. If you think that's scary, then you really should consider what Ferris and I are saying. Otherwise, I'll have Rem monitor you the entire day. I cannot go against an order if it is from Miss Amelia. I shall watch over Subaru like a hawk. Hmm, I see. I applaud your sense of loyalty. Consider me impressed. I think her eagerness is a little different from loyalty. Everyone appears to be here. The Council of Wise Men will now enter.
So that's the Council of Wise Men. Yep, yep. That's the representative, Lord Miklatov, and the lot. Without a king, Council of Wise Men has full authority on matters regarding the kingdom. They're a very important bunch, so don't go disrespecting them. Got it. Thanks for filling me in. Still, this is where they're gonna tell us why the royal selection was delayed, huh? That's a relief after all that running around we did trying to gather intel. Well, you could also say that all that running around was a big old waste of time. Depends on how you see it. But we did find out other things along the way. Right, Reinhardt? Yes. I'm glad to see you again, Subaru. Yeah, same here. We've got a lot to catch up on. I'd love to chat with you. But let's focus on this delegation for now. We can talk for as long as you want after. That's so. I'll hold you to it then. Quiet. The Captain and the Council of Wise Men are about to begin. Me. I really don't like you. <laughs> Keep it to yourself in the meantime. Oh, honored members of the Council of Wise Men. All the respective royal candidates have gathered at your summons. As the head of the Knights of the Royal Guard, I, Marcos, shall lead the proceedings. Hmm, yes, please continue. We have gathered you all here today for an important update to those involved in the selection of the next ruler. That is, the Royal Selection Ceremony. The members of the Council of Wise Men and the candidates in the selection process have gathered here to discuss that very reason. Approximately six months ago, our previous king and his royal family all passed away. With the king gone, the kingdom's straits have turned dire, particularly due to the issue being deeply entangled in the covenant of the Dragon Kingdom Lagunica. The dragon's relations with our great kingdom spans back several centuries. The king at the time, Varsail Lagunica, made a covenant with the holy dragon Volcanica. Since then, the dragon has saved the kingdom during numerous crises with its almighty glory. The holy dragon Volcanica represents the utmost of loyalty and sense of justice. Even after all these generations, it watches over us from beyond the great waterfalls. Hmm. That is why maintaining the Covenant greatly affects the existence of the Kingdom itself. Having the entire royal bloodline fall to plague is a regretful matter, but we must now establish the next priestess as soon as possible. The Dragon Friend Ceremony will help renew the Covenant. It is a meeting in which the Chosen Priestess will communicate with the Dragon. It is a role that has been heralded by the royal family for generations, and must now be filled. And we of the Knights of the Royal Guard have received explicit orders from the Council of Wise Men. We must find the priestess who has been chosen by the Dragon Gem. And now... Knight Reinhard Van Astrea, please report your findings. Yes, sir. To the honorable members of the Council of Wise Men, I am Reinhard Van Estrella of the Knights of the Royal Guard. I am here to report that I have successfully found the fifth candidate. The fifth Whoa. candidate? There's Amelia, Crochet, and Priscilla. There's also another person I haven't seen before. With the fifth one, that should be all of them. Wait, and what's the big stink about it being delayed? This is our fifth priestess, Miss Felt. Wait, what? Felt? She's the fifth candidate? What the hell? Reinhardt, you brought me here without a single explanation! What's going on here? I'm surprised. What brought this on? Play dumb with me! This place, these clothes, you, and all these people! What's up with all this? Oh, I just about had it with all this! Do you not like the dress? I think you look quite stunning. Forget 
about the clothes. It's not like I'm embarrassed or anything. I'm just saying I hate it. And not just the outfit. I hate you too. Do you have no shame as a knight of honor for kidnapping and imprisoning a young girl like me? I merely did so for the prosperity of the kingdom. Uh, uh how do I put this? I guess I'm kind of relieved that things haven't changed with you. <laughs> She's not holding back one bit against the great sword saint. It's pretty refreshing to see. Huh? You're here too? Really makes me question the point of this meeting. Reinhard van Astrea. Yes. Now, Miss Feltz, please hold this. There! Happy? Insignia's shining. So then, the Dragon Gem has accepted her as a priestess? I always thought these things were weird, even when I stole one of them. I wonder what makes them glow like this. Stole? It is proof that the Great Dragon has acknowledged you, Miss Felt. As you all can see, the Dragon Gem recognizes Miss Felt as a priestess. She has the right to participate in the royal selection. Pardon me, Sir Reinhardt, but is that not a bit rash to say? I question whether the Dragon Gem is genuine or not in the first place. I beg your pardon. Are you deaf? I'm asking about the validity of her Dragon Gem. Allow me to confirm it with my own eyes. This goes for all the candidates present. Sir Rickert. What point is there in hiding it any further? Is that not why you called everyone here today? Hold on a sec. What's the matter, Miss Anastasia? I don't get what's going on here, but I'm a busy woman. As they say in Kararagi, time is money. What's the point in checking out our dragon gems? The only reason any of us are here is because our insignias are the real deal. Regarding that... Uh, excuse me! Sorry I'm late! Royal capital is just so big, being from the countryside and all. No, Melty. You can't use that as an excuse here. Oh, sorry, Sakura. I guess Tiga and I are the only country bumpkins here. Calm down, Mel. Take a deep breath. Breathe in slowly, then exhale. Ready? And out. <sighs> well? Feel relaxed? Y yeah. Thanks, Tiga. So, um. I apologize, Miss Melty. Due to your tardiness, we've already begun without you. What? Really? I'm sorry! That girl. Is she the nun I saw in the city? The other two are the ones who came to the manor as emissaries. So, those two are part of this as well. Though I guess that's pretty obvious now. But then, who is she? Apologies for the delayed introductions. This young lady... ...is the sixth priestess, Melty Pristis. What?! <laughs> <laughs>